Weapon mount lights probably the best, best, quickest way of running it on your gun. The disadvantage of it is you gotta wear this somehow concealed in your in your case uh, uh, belt line. Have somebody make a good holster for that. But well, that would help. So there's a lot to carry, and you <laughs> tend to flag your targets. Wow, I know, ain't it? Um, there's a technique I'll show you guys later how you can use a weapon mount light and not fly your target target. The best would be to have a weapon mount light and have a, a light that's on a belt. That way you can go with your hand or go with on the gun. The quickest is, of course, having it on your pistol somehow and be able to see it. Remember, two seconds of show applies to night fighting. You have two seconds to get it out and get a shot on target. The second way will be to kind of have it off the body, but have it in some kind of retention. Like when I when I go out, I wear I wear this on my weak side, and I wear it on a, on a quick connect to where it locks onto this. And I have different levers and notches. Donnie makes these where one is very easy to rip out. If I want to go tighter, it, you lock it down one more. You can play any place you want to where you got have to actually push pick up on it and pull it off. So you can make it loose, you make it tight. You have one real loose, one medium, one where you have to pull up on it to get to release. So you do it at night because what you can do is you can draw and then reach out and grab it and come up inside your light. And they have a flashlight in the pocket, something, back pocket, side pocket, front pocket. That works. But the problem is, do a two second, you gotta get it out, get it on target, and use it in two seconds. I'm not saying it can't be done, we have to practice. Makes sense? We're, tra we're tracking, we just hang around our necks. Well, yeah, this is like walking through, going well, through well, Polaris. What's the big deal? Hang around your neck. Well, if you want to, you can. But I mean, you can wear a headlamp around. Yeah, yeah. Time, but you, you can like get a snap on things, put it on your neck, but yeah. around, you know, and walk around and hit them on. Around all can Yeah. I don't fast forward. Yeah. Of course, talk, we, this is talking about the, on, on your, carrying it on your gun. It's the best. The problem is flagging. Because if I have it on, and I want to see what goes on, I'm going to flag the flagging portion. We'll talk about later, um, later slide, how you, some techniques you can do to get around that. But that's the, when I typically draw, and I'm doing like this, if I had to draw, a lot of times on my mount, I just wear, I just wear it out, because I don't care even though I have a flashlight. If I want, I try to cover it up, like kind of sticks out a little bit. So I'll show you both ways. If I had a draw, I would come up, draw, grab a gun, come up, do my thing, and cruise out like that. So the second you clear your shirt, you transition yeah, your left hand to your right. Yeah, to my right. And I always go up and cut my neck by jaw right here. That way I can see because I can do this, and she will keep the gun in, in and not fly it anybody. And as you turn and your cold, head, head, my head, the yeah. light follows. Now granted, I'm shooting one handed, but a lot of times you'll be close, and I can shoot pretty good one handed, fast one handed. I practice a lot one handed shooting. Uh, this is the front flight one. We'll talk about this one here. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of, of a neck hole, kind of a modified FBI. Because the true FBI is bringing like, out yeah, like this. That, that's where we did track. We always call them in. Yeah, the problem is it's hard to see where you're going. I don't really like that. You can draw, come out, draw the gun, and you can come out and you can do something like a hair if you do this. The problem is, when we're talking about this, we're talking about sights, is I think it's hard to shoot like that. Yeah. You know, it's not natural. You know what I mean? And if you don't have a dot of light sights, you can't see your sights. Because the light blinds. Yeah. And there's no light on your sights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really a big fan of that. I like the syringe. So I'll show you that. It's it's easy, it's easy to do too. You have this right here. Instead of coming out and grabbing it like this and ripping it off, I grab I grab it like this, I put it on my finger, I come down and I grab it like this, I push it on the button, I come up. And my gun, I kind of use my gun, I kind of do it like that. And that, I can shoot pretty good that way too. You know? And that's easier because if I need to go to my weapon, I can just do that. If I do my weapon. Basically, ideally, two lights. Two lights if you, is the best idea to have one on your weapon and one on your belt that you can use. Hey man, I agree 100%. That's the best way of doing it. On <laughs> um, sights. They see you have your regular, just regular plain sights. You have night sights, 
we have dots. By far, the red dot is the easiest way of doing it because I don't have to worry about illuminating anything. Well, right? by far, the red dot for anything is better. For yes. I mean, yeah. You got a dot? Yeah. You got a dot? This will be my first one with the dot. First you'll, night class with the dot. You'll be converted over. We'll be first class with the dot. First night class. First okay. Night. We're going to talk about regular sites. If you're doing a regular site, you don't have night sites. You have to illuminate your sites with your light. So by doing a syringe like this, or having on your weapon, what's the problem? It's all in front of the sights. Yes. Yeah, you can't see your sights. All you can see is your front sight, your back sight, and how they line up and kind of see if I kind of look like a shadow pistol. That's why there's 15 rounds in the magazine. You, can <laughs> <laughs> you just see, you see this two right up against the target where your light is. You can do it, but it's not the easiest. Does that make sense? Everybody understand what I'm talking about? If you do, in the FBI, it's kind of tough because you have to try to illuminate your sight. If you come in here and do something a month, I have to do it to your neck, I can illuminate my sights and the target at the same time. You have to learn when you're running a red dot how to adjust your red dot for indoor and outdoor in this, in this. Because, well, like the RMRs are supposedly automatic. Though. Well, no, not all of them. All my RMRs, I have three of them. So, no, I didn't buy the automatic. I buy the one you manually have to sit because I don't like the automatic. Because sometimes the automatic gets tricked and immediately, you get short like this and you get the, the, the RMR doesn't know how to react. Yeah. You get nothing. Or and that's when they have that little panel. Yes, on top. That little clear panel yeah, thing on yeah, top. Yeah, right? yeah, that's what they. Do. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't like them. I like yeah, really I mean, like I, it. Mine is just like yours. Just yeah, the, you got manually set. So why do you, what what makes you think you have to set set your all off for night at night time? Why is it a little more difficult than daytime? Well, it would be too bright. Yeah, it can be, or, or it cannot be bright enough where your light actually dries out, or the light you've seen dries it out. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, I thought I had it balloon, but not enough. You know what I mean? So typically if you're going like inside and you go like you're walking in, you know you have to adjust your arm all, all like like down a little bit. You know what I mean? I mean if you go if you're going inside it's like you have to adjust it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Because you're walking into like a restaurant and it's one right. You know what I mean? You got the gun on. You need to learn how to work your, your light on your on uh, your dot, might be like your dot on your gun. Are being concealed. So you reach down yeah. under the table and just yeah. pump it up. And that, yeah, and that's where the all the treasure con is the main of the Romeo. Romeo is all on the inside. It's tough. I gotta kind of reach down and I gotta kind of feel it like that. Like right now, I can't. I gotta feel it. You know what I'm saying? Where the the arm are, it's big dots at each side. Well, yeah, down. You go down. So you gotta go at night, go home and play with it. So walk into your house, pull it, look at it. Walk outside, pull it, and turn your flashlight on to get some idea. Or, and then another thing you can do, go out to your, your truck, your car, turn the headlights on, look into the headlight. You know what I'm saying? So if you get spotlighted by the light, you'll want your dot to be drowned out. Am I right? That'd be a huge problem, wouldn't it? People are talking about, oh, you can't run a break, you can't run a point of bear, this and that, because it's smoke. Smoke is a, is, is a problem. Yes, it is. On when you're shooting at night. Especially it's, the bigger caliber rifles you saw. I was going to say, it's more on rifles than pistols. It, it's more it? rifles than pistols, but it can affect pistols too. Um, and also how many lumen light you have and how. And how and, the, how much can you The candel you right and how it works too makes different how it affects off the light. You know, it's kind of like um, fog driving around the road with your headlights. We all know how that how different headlights affect fog differently, right? We all have been driving for many years. Yeah, the widespread your light, the your light the same way. You know what I mean? So you need to say running suppressed is the best because it's the less smoke you're gonna get and it takes longer to build up. But that's a whole nother link you get into when you're running suppressed fissures. If, if, if we get in, if we get, we may bring some nods out. You see a nod, how it picks up smoke too. The yeah, vision. it does. And, you know, and how that affects it too, you know yeah. what I mean? But by far the best way to deal with running suppressed. Especially if you turn on the illuminator. <laughs> the problem running, the problem running suppressed pistols over rifles is 
you gotta run a, some kind of a, a Nelson device in it, and it does sometimes cause more malfunctions. Especially if you don't do some tuning work or spring work or work to the gun um, to make it take the suppression. Um, now, what about when you turn your light on? I mean, that's, that's a good question. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Right. What about when you turn your light on? You do it right away? That's a big debate. At that point, you're just putting a giant bullseye at that light. Well, yeah. Uh, when a flashlight comes on in, in, a, in a gunfight, all the light goes through. Like, for example, if you're running nods, if they had their nods on until the force shots the fire light and the force light comes on. Once the force light comes on, everybody nods go up and you everybody run the lights because everything get lit up out there. The same thing if you're using this. Or if you're investigating something over there and they're over there. Yes, you kind of let yourself up. So light management is huge in how you want to do it. You know what I mean? The really the best way to do is to run night vision and have some kind of illuminator that you can decide and nobody can see. But that's a huge amount of cost that most people can't do that. You know what I mean? And size. If you have night vision, I must sleep with night vision on my helmet next to my bed and put it all on and walk. You're not out going to east and walking around. You're not going to wear my MPGs on. Yeah. Well, let's see, helmet, you know, you got G11, G24 if you're 14 or 31 on your helmet, ready to go. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not realistic. It's not the thing about light discipline is. There is a time to use the light, not to use the light. And a lot of people have bad light discipline. Yes. Um, the idea, the best way to have a light on, some, on somebody is to get the light behind them and sit right them in the room. Yeah. You know, where not, so that way you're not lighting yourself up with the light behind them. And there's things that you can use and carry, and light techniques we, I can, I'll show you in a level two class of how to do that in room cleaning, how you light things up. And you, sort of, you basically, if I put a light behind Jason right now, and I'm here with no light, how easy would it be to see him and he can't see me? It, he just has to do that. It's big. It's huge when you get into doing all that. There are certain things you, certain things you have to buy, certain things you have to do to make all that work we're talking about in the uh, next class, or the next 11 2 room clearing class. Okay, lumens on light, it's a big question. And Kendall. I know. Oh, go ahead. Okay, wait, what do you want to say? I know in tracking, we always try to have a thousand lumens. Yeah. It's lumens is more lumens is great because you can get more fast and more light and all that. Especially because we would use the daylight too, you know, to help find the yeah. sign and stuff. Sometimes so. it can be a disadvantage if you're short in certain conditions and sort of wall cutting, it might crash back and blind you a little bit too. If not, if not the idea, it's more uncommon not, it, that it can't happen. Like indoor room. versus it, outdoor. Yeah, sometimes indoor if you have a high enough light, you can't get crash back on your light. It is possible, it can't happen. Um, I recommend 400 mil minimum on, on lumens and 800 on candescent. On this this light, you can buy these little film like you know how you buy stuff on electronic probably they have a thing over top of the the screen to protect it. You buy them for these lights and you put this on your light. Now what happens is in this rifles too, if you're not running suppress. All the shit that comes out of your gun is gonna go eventually onto your it's, it's your lens, and you can't clean it off if you get so much of it on. And what happens is, you might not notice, but if you go into a light class and shoot other people, you notice why is my white light so weak. Three seconds. Good job. Good hit. Go ahead. Hey, Randomly putting ribbon on Believe. target. I yeah, I got it. You got it. Yes. Can't flag the target. You can't flag anybody else. You gotta find the target and then shoot. Yeah. The fuck <laughs> Fucking box. <laughs> More there you go. You got it. It. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You're dead. Welcome. Yeah. I don't see it either. There you go. Yeah. Good shot.